guys, welcome back to another one. So you join me today in my bedroom, don't get too excited. Um, it's the only time you're gonna be in my bedroom. Um, I've just got five tools that I wanna show you that I use, not every day, but when you use them, they're absolutely essential. So um, let's go through them now and um, we'll show you them. Okay, so first tool is um, these Rothenberger cutters, um, predominantly used by plumbers, but um, very essential if you're an electrician as well. Um, these are very good for cutting plastic conduit plastic trunking and you'll notice on these ones they got the curve for this is for normally for round pipe but um, the electricians ones have got a straight cut normally for doing them um, just plastic pipe plastic trunking but these are very good for doing conduit as well um, I'm not sure the price on these they're quite expensive but these have lasted me absolutely ages uh, an old plumber friend um, give me these he knows who he is don't know if he watches but um, he gave me these and I've actually still got them and that shows how um, long they last so yeah they're a really good tool Next tool, um, it's not essential, but um, these are so handy. So these are the 330 mil long um, fiberglass rods for fishing through ceilings and up walls and stuff. You get 10 in a pack. Um, the, the reason these ones are so handy is because these fit in a normal size toolbox, whereas you can get the meat along ones, but obviously they don't fit inside your toolbox, but these ones do. So you get 10 in this pack and, and literally, they've just got um, like a, a male end, and a female end and you just screw you just screw them together like so and then you can tie or tape your cable to the end and then push it up wall or fish through ceilings I've even used these on uh, commercial jobs in trunkings because they're fiberglass um they're slightly to you know to to um, to short anything down um, it, if you would you know it is in uh, trunkings but you can push these through trunkings if you're careful and I, I bought two packs of these. Um, these ones are Amtec, but the ones um, that I've seen recently are in home base, and um, they're only two pound. And you do get a selection of ends, like the hooks, the bullet end, and you also get like uh, a little wobbly end to fish through walls and stuff. So they're really cool. So yeah, they're two quid. Um, so they, you should get a set of these for your toolbox. Um, you'll use them pretty much every other day for doing your job. Uh, next thing I'm going to show you is um, a socket tester. These are good, not just for electricians, but for everybody, for checking your sockets. Um, obviously you see on there, you, you've got your polarity. Two green lights on this one um, means good. And then you've got different lights, which means you're missing stuff, whatever. Um, this won't do um, earth and neutral reverse, obviously. This is pretty much the same thing. Um, so literally plug this in a socket. And the good thing about this one is, it's actually got the tone. So if you are alone working and you, you want an isolated circuit in a house, you can put this in and um, you can still hear and once you're flicking off the breakers you can hear if that circuit has actually gone off obviously don't use this for like safe isolation use your tester properly but for quick check and for going around your sockets this is really handy okay next one I want to show you is um, I think these are essential for every trade to be honest because um, they're absolutely awesome um, it's a laser level um, there you go there, I'm just going to uh, scan your retinas there. So this one does um, the horizontal and the vertical. Um, this is actually by McAllister, which is b and I'm not sure if B&Q are continuing to do the McAllister because I've seen a lot of different stuff in there recently. I bought this one online, brand new. As you can see, it's absolutely spanking new. You get the, I think that is an a 6, it's an M6 uh, thread on the bottom there. So you can put this on a tripod or if you've got like a DeWalt bracket or whatever, because it's not on a, um, these don't make a bracket for this, or well, this didn't come with one. They might make one, but this didn't come with one. Obviously, with um, lasers, they're class two, so you've got to be careful looking into them, but for getting your down light is straight, and even if you're a plumber, pipe work, and um, carpenters, chippers, getting your walls up, dry liners, these are so good. Even for a DIY, for putting up shelves, get them really straight, and you can just, you know what I mean? If you look there, you can just have the laser. You obviously can't see it in this light, but um, you get your laser perfectly straight there. Um, these are absolutely awesome. So that is definitely good. The good thing about this one as well, I'm just gonna show you, you've got a button here, so you can turn off one of the lasers to save the battery, and then just use the, um, just use the vertical or the horizontal or both. So yeah, and then you've got a little switch there that locks the laser in, stops it from waggling about. And then last but not least, um, one of my favourite tools, 
is for when I am doing predominantly doing down lighters it's just this Stanley um, little camera there um, you just get a little um, I think that's 8 mil I think let me just check what size that is yeah that's an 8 mil N so you could also use that on cars if you wanted to take a spark plug out you could also drop that down the bore inside of a car which I'm probably going to do just want to check the condition of the top of the pistons or check the rings or something not the rings the liners um, and you get um, some little accessories in here these are absolutely dog dirt they don't work you, they, they reckon you can put this on the end of here and have this little hook and then fish cables but they're just not strong enough so um, the only probably good one in there is a little mirror it's a little mirror there so you can sort of see back on yourself that's the only one I use out of there you also get um, this is like an what is this like an audio visual cable I'm guessing and then on here um, takes batteries nice little handheld and you just literally screw the camera in there um, I'll just show you that right so I've literally just screwed the camera into there I'm just gonna hold this on a loop so you can actually see it working um, you literally just hold on hold on the button there and then you've got um, on the end of the LED there you've got a little brightness button so when you're fishing above ceilings you can light them up and um, yeah so this has actually got me out of a load of trouble that's it you can see the TV up there there's the TV just up there sharp just there so um this has got me out of trouble a lot of times when you've um, not taken you know very good measurements with your down lights and whatnot and even for checking beams and stuff I've used it for doing that in our house when we took a wall down just to make sure it wasn't um, load bearing I used one of these cameras just to check the timbers were going the right way the way I wanted them to go before we took the little partition wall out um, so yeah that's my top five sort of they're essential but they're non-essential obviously I get the fact that our drills and impact guns we use every day um, obviously I could do a video on that but um, a lot of people know about them so if you want to do see a video on power tools I can do a power tool video comparisons um, I know a lot of people are asking about what impact gun should I buy what should I use for this what should I use for that um, yeah so I hope you like the video if you found it interesting go out and get yourself some of these tools I'll quickly do a walk around now with them and I'll just show you a couple in action. Thank you.